In this video, we're going to use the horizontal menu that we created in CSS layout tutorial number 11. So if you want to see how I created that code and how that code works, please go watch that video now if you haven't already. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our master page. And so I'm going to go ahead and paste the code that we used in CSS layout tutorial number 11, the HTML code that is and this will look uh, very familiar. I've eliminated a couple buttons. We're only gonna do a home button and a contact us button for now. Now we will add some future buttons in later videos, but for now we're just going to add a home button and a contact us button. Now let's go ahead and open up our style sheet. And we're gonna go down to our navigation section. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste over the existing code we have. And I'm going to copy and paste the CSS code that we created in CSS layout tutorial number 11. And you know what? I forgot something. We need the ULs here. <laughs> forgot those. And let's just go ahead and close this out. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and load this up and we'll see what this looks like just to make sure our horizontal menu is there and it's looking good. And it is. And there you can see. And that looks very similar, of course, to the menu we designed in the CSS Layout 11 tutorial. Now this is where we're going to get to the ASP part of this. And we want to add a link for our home button and then a new page for the Contact Us. We want to actually load a new page. But for the home button, we actually want to load this page. And what do I mean by that? Well, let's say we drill down into one of our articles. And now we want to get back to the main home page. If we hit the home button, nothing happens, right? So that's the goal, is to be able to get back to the main home page with all of our mini menus. And so let's handle that first. So we'll close this out. And so let's go back to our master page. And now we're gonna put our link right here. And we wanna link back to our default page, right? That has all of our menus in it, right? If we take a look at this right here, here's our mini menu, our Rome mini menu, of course. So that's what we wanna link back to. And so let's go ahead and put that in for our href. So I'll copy and paste it in here. And there's the backslash, of course, for root directory, and then default.aspx. So it'll point right back to our default content page, which of course is the first page on our website, which of course is where we want to link back to, to get you back in case you drill down deep into our website. So let's go ahead and see if it works. So we'll reload our website. And now in order to simulate this, we need to drill down into our article. We hit the home button and look at that. We're back at our default content page and this gets the user back so that they can go ahead and browse another subject if they want. Now let's create a page for our contact us. So let's close this out and go back to our Visual Studio session. And off of our web pages, let's create a new folder and we're going to call this MISC for miscellaneous because this really isn't a major subject it's just our contact us page so we really don't need to create a subject folder we'll, we'll just have a miscellaneous folder where we can dump various pages into and so there we go now let's right click on that and we're going to go ahead and add new item we're going to create a web form of course and that of course is always a ASPX dot web page and we're just going to call this contact that's good and of course we select our master page to base it off of. And again, there it is. We just need to have that selected. We do, and we hit okay, and there we go. We've got our contact.aspx webpage. And you can see here, as I mentioned in the last video, our content placeholder ID is automatically created for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste the code I created for this, and it's just some simple code. And we're going to reuse the div class that we've been using for our content pages, which is content text. And you will remember that gives us a nice margin and increases our text size to 16 pixels. And so what we have here is a feel free to contact us, you know, all of this stuff and a email. Now we'll add forms later on to this, but for now we're just going to use this code. So let's go ahead and save everything up now and let's see if that link Whoops, wait, before we do that, sorry, we've got to go actually add the link. I always forget that. And I'll just copy and paste the path. And there you can see, we've got our path. Web pages, the MISC folder, and the contact.aspx page. So let's go ahead and make sure it works. Let's go ahead and load up our website. And we'll hit the contact us. Now, isn't that nice? We've got a contact us web page. Now, you'll notice that we're actually linking to our content page, and that, of course, again, is done with this main content one here. 
And you'll notice that's from our master page because we didn't put a content placeholder in the nav, right? We want all the content to be in our main content panel. Even if we create other links on our master template, we want those to be shown in our main content panel. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna move on to some new subjects. Now we'll come back to the navigational side of things, but we're gonna explore some new subjects in the next video. See you guys then.